What's up crew? I want to hop in here real quick, talk to you about early diagnosis with type 1, how I used to fight against it, and what you can do instead to make type 1 diabetes management a bit easier. Now we're on vacation with family right now in Oregon. They're all up there in the uh, the house. And I'm going to take you guys down here to the river to give you a, a sweet metaphor on blood sugar control and uh, kind of walk you through my journey a little bit. We'll keep this one short, all right? So um, initially when I was first diagnosed, got to tell you guys, I'll be honest, I fought it. I did not like the fact that I was diabetic, did not like the idea of taking insulin for the rest of my life, poking my fingers and counting carbs. It just was not a fun thought, not something that I wanted to obviously have to deal with. You know, it's uh, something that's not fun. And I was diagnosed later in life, so I had already established my lifestyle. You know, I didn't have to count carbs for the first 19 years of my life, got diagnosed out of nowhere, and all of a sudden now I have this new thing that's just making me feel embarrassed and weak and uh, different. I didn't like that. And uh, ultimately, I was looking out this river because we're staying on, on the Rogue River in Oregon. And this river reminded me of my early diagnosis because when I was first diagnosed, it felt like I was fighting my diagnosis, fighting my disease. I was always battling against diabetes. And that can be a lot like swimming up river. Right? Just river, I don't know if you can see, but it's got quite the current. Right? And as you move through the river, if you're going upstream, it's a lot more work than it should be. And I recognize looking at this river that when I was first diagnosed, in fighting my diagnosis, I made it more difficult for myself. And that's just not a place you want to be at. And so uh, recognizing that if you go with the flow of the river, everything changes. You move faster. It's easier. You get more peace of mind. And uh, the whole journey itself feels a lot more effortless. Now, it's not going to ever be completely effortless because there's rocks, there's currents, there's branches, there's obstacles in the river of life as well, right? And so as we were going through this, we actually went out and um, did some river rafting yesterday. Super fun. But as we're going down the river, uh, one of our party members got stuck back behind. And so we're trying to paddle back up river, trying to hold ourselves from going too far down the river and uh, completely separating from the rest of our group. And as we're paddling back up river, all this extra effort, all this extra work because we're fighting against the current, right? And finally that person caught up. We were all one group again. We started floating down and it was a bit more easy. However, still had to watch out for the rocks. Still had to watch out for the extreme rapids, the branches, um, you know, the, the shorelines, the places where it was a lot more shallow. And as a result, you couldn't ever completely take your eye off the ball, right? We're always looking down river, looking for what obstacles are next. But as long as you are aware of those obstacles, you can navigate, right? Okay, everybody paddle left, we're gonna go to the right. Everybody paddle right, we're going to the left. Try and navigate through the rocks, through the rapids to make sure we get the best route possible. And similarly with diabetes, even if you are going down river, going with the stream, there are still obstacles you're gonna to have to navigate, right? You still have to carb count, you still have to pre bolus you still have to look at insulin on board and activity and look at fats and proteins. And if you're not aware of these things, they can catch you by surprise. Just like if in the river, if you're not aware of the rocks, you might run yourself aground, you might puncture the raft, you might crash land into the shore. And so when you are going through life with diabetes, you do have to be aware of these things. This is why I always talk about understand, experiment, predict. Those are the three steps to really crushing in life with this disease. But before you can understand, you have to be aware. You have to accept, right? So for me, I had to accept that I had type 1 diabetes. And that was a difficult thing to accept for a while. Once I was aware, I mean, once I accepted it, I had to become aware of the obstacles. I had to keep an eye out for, you know, the different obstacles and challenges in the river, in life with diabetes. Once you're aware of them, you can navigate around them a lot better, right? So accept it, be aware of the obstacles, then you can work on understanding, experimenting, and predicting your blood sugars. So, uh, you know, how do you understand once you are aware? That's the big question. A lot of people are stuck with what diet do I use? How do I exercise? How do you travel? Um, how do you take your insulin at the right time? All these different aspects of diabetes, and I can't cram all of that into this one metaphor video about the river because, well, the river doesn't quite make sense talking about understanding. And so <laughs> instead of focusing on, you know, how to get to that next step, I want to just point you guys towards a training where I go over the understanding and the experimenting and the predicting of blood sugar. So if that's something you're looking for, where you already do accept the fact that you have type one diabetes, like I had to go through myself, it took me years to fully accept it. But if you're already at that point, 
you're aware that there are obstacles in your life, like insulin on board, like figuring out activity with diabetes, like trying to just nail down the carb count so you know how much insulin to take. If you're already aware of those obstacles and you're trying to figure out how to navigate it, then I have the solution for you. Go to diabetesinaction.com, okay? At that link uh, in that website, there's going to be a training that I did privately, and it's gonna walk you through a bit more about how to look at insulin dosing, how to look at food, how to look at exercise and activity, so that you can go out and go water rafting like we did yesterday and totally rock it. You can go out hiking like we did the day before that and have a blast, right? You don't have to be limited by your type one diabetes, but you do have to do a little bit of extra planning. And in order to plan correctly, you have to understand what you're planning for. So go check out that video at diabetesinaction.com. This is me checking out from Oregon and go back to vacation mode, spend some time with the family. Hopefully you're having an amazing day. Be sure to subscribe, check out our other videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep up the fight.